Hey, Eric Sider here from Planting Pioneers, and in this video I'm going to give you a quick update on the patio garden now that fall has finally decided to arrive here in North Texas. Alright, let's get into it. Okay, the uh, garden here is largely unchanged from the uh, tour video we did a few months ago. Uh, mostly because we're so limited with space, we're really kidding. Not a lot of uh, crop changes we can do. Uh, here in North Texas, you almost get two seasons because you can start in February and grow right up until December, depending on the frosts and the freezes, how they come. So you kind of get two seasons of cool climate crops, like your uh, brassicas, kales, cabbages, spinaches, lettuces, peas and beans, things like that. But uh, So what we have is our uh, perennial goji berry. It's doing well. Our uh, main green, cut green source is the sweet potato, which we're maxing out the space by going vertical with that there. And our other greens is the uh, Swiss chard, which has been chugging along well. And then here's our uh, one of our perennial daylilies coming along, and we just added in some comfrey. We got some comfrey going, all ready to be potted up, so we stuck two guys in there. We did have a zucchini trial, which, uh, as I expected, didn't produce much. And uh, we got one little fruit, but it ended up rotting on the vine. Uh, which can happen here. We do get a squash vine borer, so can be a little tricky there. And uh, this is a uh, kind of tends to be a unique thing with patio or container gardens. Is the uh, you can see the soil level has dropped almost two inches there. So we're going to be uh, topping that up with some local compost. And uh, also the original mix I made, which was uh, very heavy on perlite to make it light because I was concerned about the weight, is uh, making them, uh, they've basically dried out quite a bit. So we're gonna, the compost we got is a little more heavy, a little uh, local clay in there, so it should help that out. All right, we'll show you how that goes. All right, so what we have here is a Texas Pure. It's a local municipal style compost. Uh, not the greatest you could make, but certainly decent enough. And uh, it is local, which is good. You get the biology. It is a bit heavy, a little bit clay, probably because of the, uh, you know, we're nearly 100% clay soils here. So I'm sure that gets a bit mixed into all the yard trimmings and things that they use to make it, but it'll serve our purposes. And uh, since we got our worm farm going, we know we have a uh, really good biology we can add as well. So we're just going to add this in here, get it up to the level we want, and uh, we'll be done. It'll help uh, retain more moisture, give it a bit of a fertility boost. All right, we'll add our coconut fire mulch back. And uh, now this guy is sitting on the corner here because he's trying to get as much sun exposure as possible, but obviously he'd probably be a little happier in the center of the container. All right, so we'll do that for the rest of them, and they'll definitely get a boost from that. So as far as on the inside, we did uh, move a few things around uh, just to uh, accommodate a new addition. So this is our new addition, the Urban Worm Bag, which is a breathable flow-through worm composting system that's been working really well so far. And uh, so to accommodate that, we uh, shifted our pond over about 90 degrees. Uh, also allowed it to get a little more sun, which uh, the plants were struggling a little bit there. Most aquatic plants prefer nearly full sun. And uh, here's our next little project. We got our uh, comfrey root cuttings all ready to go and uh, ready to go into some pots. And uh, so... Those will be for sale pretty soon. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that little update on the patio garden. Uh, believe me, I wish I had a proper fall 
garden update to do, but we just don't have the space, so we're just checking along with what we got. Uh, if you haven't seen the original video, check that out, and the uh, Urban Worm Bag review if you want to know more about that. Alright, thanks for watching. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it, subscribe, share with your friends, spread the love. We really appreciate it. Alright, thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.